time trying authentic Mexican food and then I had drinks with my friends it was a great time together I'm going to IKEA for the first time in 24 years. Good morning everyone, happy Monday. Even though I'm not feeling very happy, but I decided to just take things in a more positive tone. And regardless of whether I have the Monday blues or not, I still have to get it over and done with, so I might as well just think of it positively. The plan for today anyway is a bit different. I'm not going to work, I'm going for a course. It's on suicide training, I think it was applied suicide intervention something training. It's called Assist. It would be interesting because I would learn new things about like helping people who want to commit suicide orders, which is all very beneficial for my work. And I also get to meet new professionals, who are there to take the course, so yeah, I decided to just like do 180 degrees turn and change my attitude towards today. I'm really so encouraged by all of your comments. Nowadays, I find it a habit to just like, when I wake up, I know it's not very healthy to look at your phone. I'm always very curious on like, what are you guys commenting on my videos? So I would like whip out my phone and I will look at the comments, I'd be like, oh, oh, you guys are like so sweet. Bye! <laughs> Check out the long queue. The assist training will begin soon. <sighs> Done with my course. First day with me. Tomorrow is another day, of course. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's been a while since I actually woke up in the morning for Tuesdays because I usually am on night shift, right? But today I'm on my course again. Today will be day two of the course and I will actually be doing a test before lunch and the test will determine whether I'm able to get a cert. This is for suicide training, so I recommend you guys to all go for your own suicide training. No matter what, it's very, very helpful. You never know when you're going to meet a person who wants to commit suicide and uh, it's actually really very common according to statistics. The course is really very good. I really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. But one thing that I don't like is that the course venue, well, it's at the 19th floor. I'm not sure if how many of you guys, you guys actually experienced such a thing. But it doesn't really help that the lift actually was congested and then secondly, it was stopping at many other floors. So it went to like 2 and then it went to 4 and then it went to 6 and then it went to 9. And it just kept stopping and stopping and as it stopped, I actually realised that I was getting more and more unwell. I felt like my headache was there, I felt like puking, I was like, oh, motion sickness full blown. Then they reached the 19th floor and I was like, oh, I felt so bad. And then going down was the same thing as well. It just went down and it went to different floors and worse still, I think going down the pressure in my ear was just so bad and I was like, oh, my ear is blocked. So how many of you guys actually feel the same way as me because John is laughing and he was saying like only I would feel such a thing. <laughs> I'm just such a newbie. And then I'm like not looking forward to other causes as well now because they're all held in the same venue. So because they're all held in the same venue, it means every time I go for causes I have to go up and go down. Worse still if they actually posted me to the 20th floor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought I was videoing. <laughs> I'm just done with my test and I think I did very well on the lunch Yay, I'm a suicide first aider! Woohoo! Rebecca, you're a great YouTuber. Does vlogs. Very nice person. Hi, Groot. Hello. Uh, of course, Yuki has to come out also. He's always jealous whenever I just talk to Groot. Hi, Groot. And then this boy will be like over here. But when I stop saying, he walks away. Morning! And Baba says, Good morning! 
Hi, Baba. After two days of studying and back to work, I hope that I can gain my motivation to start off my work. Yesterday, Red Panda told me to do a Q&A session with you guys. I am very excited and I am going to ask you guys to ask me questions about myself. Something that's not too sensitive. I'll pick maybe about 5 to 10 questions to answer. I can't pick too many questions because of a time constraint. I still have to vlog my other parts of my life. I might do just like maybe 2 or 3 questions or 5 questions at a time. And then every time I'll just do a little bit at a time. By the time you guys see it, I think it will be next week or 2 weeks later. So watch out for this. Bye! I was told the lizard was caught yesterday when I was at course. <laughs> cute, 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 cute. Hi. <laughs> Thursday. I just want to show you guys this piece of dress. What do you guys think of this dress? The story behind it is actually I got it for my sister's birthday. Recently we've been doing spring cleaning and she brought it out and she was feeling a bit guilty. She was worried that I would be very angry if she would tell me that she didn't want this dress anymore. In the past, when I was young, I might have been very childish and I might have thrown a temper. But now, I feel like, what's the point of doing that? I'm more than happy to take it back because now I also need clothes for work and I think it suits me. Yeah, so I would rather she pass it to me than for it to be sitting in the cupboard and that would be a waste because this dress did not come cheap. So yeah! This thing is very cool, it's like a mic and a speaker together. Chinese news around the corner, so we've got oranges. What's inside? What's in the Rudy's from Japan. 